kinetic energy and potential energy. In this lesson, we shall learn about kinetic and potential energy. Energy is the ability to do work. Its unit is Joule. The ability of a body to do work due to its motion is called kinetic energy. Let a body of mass M be stationary on a frictionless surface. When a force F acts on it for time T, it undergoes displacement S and acquires a velocity V. Work W done is equal to force F multiplied by displacement S. But we know force F is equal to mass M multiplied by acceleration A. So W is equal to M multiplied by A multiplied by S. Let it be equation 1. Also, we know that V square minus U square is equal to 2As. So, if initial velocity u is equal to 0, then v square is equal to 2As. Therefore, As is equal to 1 upon 2v square. Let it be equation 2. So, from equations 1 and 2, work done is equal to w is equal to m multiplied by v square upon 2, which is equal to 1 by 2 mv square. Thus, kinetic energy of a body with mass m and moving with a velocity v is 1 upon 2 mv square. A moving ball, a flying insect, a falling asteroid and a moving car possess kinetic energy due to both its motion. The kinetic energy of a body is directly proportional to the mass of the body, the square of the velocity of the body. More the speed of a body, more is its kinetic energy. Similarly, more the mass of a body, more is its kinetic energy. When work is done, there is change in kinetic energy of a body. Let force F act on a body with initial velocity U. The body in turn acquires a velocity V and gets displaced by S. Then work done is force multiplied by distance which is equal to mass M multiplied by acceleration A multiplied by distance S. Or M multiplied by 1 upon 2v square minus 1 upon 2u square, which is equal to 1 upon 2mv square minus 1 upon 2mu square. Kinetic energy is a scalar quantity. Let us solve one problem. A ball of mass 200 grams is moving with 27 kilometers per hour. Calculate its kinetic energy. Solution Given mass M is equal to 200 gram, which is equal to 0 0.2 kg. Velocity V is equal to 27 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 27 multiplied by 1000 upon 3600 meter per second, which is equal to 7.5 meter per second. So, kinetic energy is 1 upon 2 mv square, which is equal to 1 upon 2 multiplied by 0 0.2 multiplied by 7.5 square. So, kinetic energy is equal to 0 0.1 multiplied by 56.25, which is equal to 5.625 joules. Question At what speed? A person weighing 60 kg should run to acquire 750 joules of 
kinetic energy. Solution Given mass m is equal to 60 kg, kinetic energy k is equal to 750 joules. We know that kinetic energy is 1 upon 2 mv square. So, v square is equal to 2k upon m which is equal to 2 multiplied by 750 upon 60 equal to 5 meter per second. The ability of a body to do work due to its position or configuration is known as potential energy of the body. It is the energy by virtue of its position. Potential energy of a body depends on gravitational force acting on body and height. Suppose potential energy at reference level is zero. A force having a magnitude equal to gravitational force acting on it is applied and the body moves in opposite direction. If the body moves to a height h, then work w is equal to force multiplied by displacement. But force is equal to mass m multiplied by acceleration due to gravity. So, work is equal to m multiplied by g multiplied by h. So, potential energy of a body of mass m when raised to a height h above the surface of the earth is m multiplied by g multiplied by h, where g is the acceleration due to gravity. Potential energy is also a scalar quantity. It is of two types. Gravitational potential energy is the energy an object possesses due to its height from the Earth's surface. Elastic potential energy is the energy stored by an object as a result of deformation. A coiled spring, an unopened carbonated drink, water at the top of a waterfall, a ferris wheel before it starts moving are all examples of potential energy. Question. Calculate the potential energy of an object weighing 6 kilograms when moved to a height of 20 meters. Given acceleration due to gravity is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Solution. Given mass m is equal to 6 kg, height h is equal to 20 meters. Gravitational acceleration is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. Therefore, potential energy u is equal to mgh equal to 6 into 9.8 into 20 equal to 1176 joules. All objects doing work possess potential energy. In the process of doing work, the stored energy gets transferred to the object upon which the work is done in the form of kinetic energy. The sum of potential energy and kinetic energy is the total mechanical energy possessed by the body. Consider a freely falling body of mass m. Let v1 and v2 be its velocities at heights h1 and h2 respectively. Thus, change in kinetic energy is equal to 1 upon 2m v2 square minus 1 upon 2m v1 square. Displacement is h1 minus h2. We know that work w is equal to 1 upon 2mv square minus 1 upon 2mu square. We also know that work w is equal to m multiplied by g multiplied by h. So, 1 upon 2m v2 square 
minus 1 upon 2m v1 square, which is equal to w equal to m multiplied by g multiplied by h1 minus h2. Or 1 upon 2m v2 square minus 1 upon 2m v1 square is equal to m multiplied by g multiplied by h1 minus m multiplied by g multiplied by h2. Or 1 upon 2m v2 square plus m multiplied by g multiplied by h2 is equal to 1 upon 2m v1 square plus m multiplied by g multiplied by h1. Or k2 plus u2 is equal to k1 plus u1.